Warner Brothers has released the first trailer from Hangover director Todd Phillips' War Dogs starring Jonah Hill and Miles Teller. Based on a true story, War Dogs follows two friends living in Miami during the first Iraq war who exploit a little-known government initiative that allows small businesses to bid on U.S. military contracts. The film also stars Bradley Cooper and Anna de Armas and opens in theaters on August 19th. Mark, buy or sell the new trailer for War Dogs. It's a buy for me. I like how it's very serious political overtones, but there's also going to be some humor in this movie. I think Miles Teller and Jonah Hill were the right cast going forward. <laughs> it just seems like there's guys. a war going on in Roka's chair right now. <laughs> it really now. is. Um, I apologize to everyone. I think, I think Riley stole the good chair <laughs> and left uh, Roka the bad chair. I yeah. think somebody heard Roka's review of BBC's S and was like, ah, I'm taking the screw out. Screw this guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, and Miles Teller is a guy who I really think he's a great actor. I like him a lot on screen. I had a little beef with him yesterday on Jedi Council, but it's over. It's done with. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so him and Jonah Hill, and then you also throw Bradley Cooper in there. The cast is really shaping up to be something special, and the trailer impressed me. I'm in. Well, I'm going to buy this trailer, but before I talk about the trailer, I thought it was interesting they cast Miles Teller and Jonah Hill together because they have the same voice. I don't know if you have ever <laughs> closed your eyes, listened to the trailer. You're wow. not going to be able to tell who is talking in, wow. in this one. Oh, that's um, funny. I, I, I actually I thought the trailer was funny. I like that yeah. line. Uh, don't worry, I, I need to go first because I'm American. <laughs> that line was hilarious. And just that one line uh, where he's like going, uh, what was it? Uh, you guys drove through that, this? The death, the death triangle, triangle of right, death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just thought it was funny. It looks like a hangover meets, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Wolf, Wolf of Wall, of Wall Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's set in the Iraq War, so I'm all for this. Roka? Well, as the veteran of the services, <laughs> I have to sell this. Okay. I, I did not enjoy the trailer at all. I didn't like the comedy. I thought... It played to some of the worser characteristics of us as as Americans, and I I, th I thought Lords of War is a better film about gun running that happens out of control in all um, all military situations and in all wars that we get into. I, I get it, you know, you want to do the Hangover, you want. I just think it's too serious of a subject matter to make this kind of a film about. There are plenty of very hilarious. Uh, military comedies that I've seen that I've enjoyed very much. So I'm not sticking the mud about that. It's just something about this type of humor that hit the wrong button for me, and I just didn't enjoy it uh, as I would have hoped to enjoy it. Can I ask you? Is it is it the based on a true story aspect? Is it a too soon kind of feel, or yeah, is it, it just, just the fact soon. that because because something like Stripes, which is arguably the Great. funniest military comedy of all time, right. is so like out there and outlandish mm -hmm. that, that there's no way that could ever be in reality. Right. So you just kind of sit back and laugh at. It. Is it because it's maybe too soon to the events, or because it is based on a true story or both? Well, I feel it's too soon for me for the events and all the stuff that's going on with the veterans, all the stuff that's going on with PTSD, all the stuff that's going on with the Wounded Warrior Project. Right. To me, it's just a little too soon to joke about two people making a lot of money that of people dying if they had if they had a juxtaposition in the humor of serious moments of them seeing like the effects of what they're doing so you could still have the comedy but then see the reality of the comedy so you have a more layered nuanced film i would have enjoyed well, that part of the reason why i bought the this <clears throat> this trailer is because while we didn't get a lot of the the dramatic moments i think that i don't mind using comedy as a vehicle to be, to get people into a theater and then actually making a point now this could yeah. just be a madcap comedy all the way through right. but sometimes you go see a comedy and you laugh a lot but you also it gives you something to think about that's my goal with this movie yeah. which is why i bought the trailer because i think the trailer conveyed to me that they do have that opportunity to take advantage of that yeah and also i think at least i hope so yeah. that it's it's more of a darker comedy mm -hmm. in the sense of like i said that line don't worry I, you know i i should go first because i'm american i i'm laughing at that that You're type right. of mentality right. not like with them right clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider